Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to integrate a GitHub repository with Jenkins job means how you can build a specific branch of this GitHub repository using this Jenkins job. So there are two types of repositories in GitHub public and private. These public repositories are available over internet. So you do not need any authentication mechanism to integrate these public repositories with your GitHub. But Private repositories are for a specific client and these are not available over internet. So you need a authentication mechanism while integrating these private repositories with Jenkins. So as part of this tutorial, I'll cover the first option means we'll see how you can integrate this public repository with Jenkins in and coming tutorial, we'll see the different use cases for private repositories. So we have a public repository called geeks-java. We'll use this repository in our Jenkins job. So let me go to this Jenkins and let me create a new job here. So I'll name it geeks-java and it will be a freestyle project. You may see some more options based on what kind of plugins you have installed. So I have installed minimum plugins. So I'll choose the simplest option. So let's check this GitHub project. This is not mandatory, but let's have it. So I'll add it here, this URL. Right. In the source code management, because we are integrating Git, so I'll choose Git. So to choose this option, you must have already installed Git and GitHub plugins. So these two plugins have been already installed as part of suggested plugin installation. You have to add a repository URL here. So go here and code and this HTTPS and choose that URL. So as soon as I choose this, see this, please enter Git repository. This error will go away. So it did not ask for any credentials means there's a no error as soon as I add this repository because it's a public repository. And if you see credential is none means I don't need any credentials. Okay, because you must check what kind of branch means which branch you want to build. So I want to build master. You have to check whether this branch should be available in your repository. So go back and check. I have only one branch and that is main. So you don't have master branch. So change it for main. Right. And I'll not add further options. I will we'll keep this very simple and let's say build environment. Let's check this delete workspace before build start. So it will delete all old workspaces. And in build step, let me add invoke top level Maven targets. So what I'm saying, it's a Maven project and I'm invoking the Maven target. So what I'll do, I'll say clean install. So it, these are two goals, it will clean and then install and save. So what it will do, it will check in the parent form, it will check the parent form and execute these goals, right, to save it. I'm not adding any, any post built actions, just save, save it. Okay, so if I build it now, what should happen? It should clone my repository and it should build it. Okay, so let's build it. You see the, this progress bar is going on. You can check the logs what's happening. Click on this, go to the console output and see what's happening. Okay, so it's a successful. If you see here, cloning my Git repository, no credential specified. If it is a private repository, then I have to add credentials. It means I have to add some mechanism for authentication and it's successful. If you see, it's successful now and it is adding my goal means the MVN clean install whatever I added because it's already a Maven project so it added MVN so this goal has been executed and it's a successful we'll see the integration of private repositories in coming tutorials if you have any question add your comment thank you